If you want to know how to build a capsule wardrobe for summer then you're in the right place. Today's video is all about how to create a capsule wardrobe and if you're new to the concept a capsule wardrobe is generally 20 to 50 items of clothing that have been curated so that they can be worn lots of ways together. So think wardrobe staples, basics, all the good things that I basically love to wear and restyle if you are already a subscriber. If you're not and you are going to find this video helpful, I would love if you did subscribe because I'm all about buying less, wearing more, getting the right purchases, getting wear out of your clothes rather than just wearing them once, which is why I love the concept of a capsule wardrobe. As you can see, I have gone for a very neutral capsule wardrobe. We've got neutrals, blacks, whites, denims. As you will see, that's mainly what I like to wear. So one tip for a capsule wardrobe would be to keep a color palette of no more than sort of four different colors. Because like I said, you want to be able to pair every single item on this rail together. I have 39 pieces in total, which include also bags and shoes and a couple of accessories. It just doesn't include jewellery. Now you might also want to create a separate work capsule wardrobe or a separate holiday vacation capsule wardrobe which is something I will look to do on this channel so make sure you're subscribed if you want to see more capsule wardrobe content and my next video after this one is actually going to be a week in outfits styling all of these items lots of different ways. That being said, this is for a UK summer wardrobe varying between 15 to 25 degrees. Can get a little bit chillier in the evening, so you might want to swap out the thickness of some of these items or swap them for different materials. But in general, these are all the wardrobe staples and basics that you need in a summer capsule wardrobe. So let's get straight into it, and I'm gonna do it section by section. I'm going to start with bottoms. So this will include skirts, shorts, trousers, pants, whatever you like to call them. And I'm going to kick it off with a satin midi, mid axi, maxi slip skirt, whichever length is your preference. You can even go for a mini slip skirt if you preferred, but I just think a satin skirt is such a wardrobe classic and it is so timeless for summer. I have a beautiful black one here which is from Totem and I'm very excited to let you know that part of this video is in partnership with Farfetch. I'm over the moon to be working with them again and to have another discount code for you guys. I will leave it on the screen. It is CB10FF which gets 10% off new customers. All the terms and conditions, including the dates this is valid from, will be in the description box below, along with all the items I'm sharing with you today. And whenever I'm sharing an item with you from Farfetch, I'll be sure to let you know, and I will leave the code on the screen again, because obviously, like I said, I'm gonna do this in sections, so I have different pieces from Farfetch throughout this rail. But I'm kicking off with this beautiful slip skirt, like I said, I think they're just such a timeless classic. With a black skirt, I feel like it's worth investing in. You don't have to worry as much about spilling things, marks. I do also have a really nice light satin skirt, but I decided to include my black one in this one because I just think it's more practical and I'm absolutely obsessed with this. Notes on sizing, it fits true to size and I'm going to be wearing this lots of ways. So like I said, make sure that you're subscribed and also go over to my Instagram at Charlotte Buttrick where I'm going to basically for the next couple of weeks just be wearing all these clothes lots of different ways. So again, just to show you the benefit of a capsule wardrobe and that you really don't need a huge walk-in wardrobe of clothes to look good and feel good. And you can bring these out every year as well. Some pieces on this rail are from last year and even the year previous so makes your wardrobe a little bit sustainable as well. The second skirt in my capsule summer wardrobe, not sure if I mentioned I have 39 pieces in total, is a denim skirt. This one is from Everlane and I feel like they have a really nice denim. I also have a black Levi's skirt but I went for the blue denim because I'm having a blue denim moment at the moment and I have another couple of blue denim pieces on the rail so I thought it'd be really nice for doing double denim uh, for summer as well which is one of the trends. I always take a denim skirt on holiday with me as well. I feel like they're really like wearable and durable obviously. Love it dressed up, dressed down. As you will see on this rail most items can be dressed up, dressed down as well so make sure you kind of Consider that when picking items for your capsule wardrobe. What summer wardrobe does not have denim shorts? I have a long denim pair here, a little bit like a cycling short style 
Personally, I prefer a longer length, but with any of these items in this wardrobe, you can obviously change the cut, you can change the length, whatever suits your style and you feel most comfortable in. But I love a long line denim short. And these are super comfortable, stretchy, a little bit like wearing cycling shorts. I also have a one year old as well, so I need clothes in my summer capsule wardrobe to also be practical, which is why I love a little bit of a longer length. I told you I had a love of blue denim and these babies are also from Farfetch. I picked up a few pieces from Anine Bing at Farfetch actually and I'm super excited to try the brand. I already have one of her jumpers, I love it and I wanted to try some more pieces. So if you are not really familiar with Farfetch, I'd like to think most of you guys here already subscribed on my channel are because I've been working with them for the past couple of years and I just love the whole experience. I'm a regular on their browsing, I buy from them as well. I find the returns super easy so I thought that's worth mentioning. If you're not sure about sizing, you can definitely send them back and have no qualms at all and returns are free. They stock over 3,000 of the world's best brands from different boutiques and department stores so your items come from all over the world. You can support small businesses as well. It's just a great marketplace for luxury shopping and like I said, I'm so glad to be working with them again and they have such a great selection of Anine Bing. So I picked up these blue denim jeans. I haven't tried Anine Bing before. Very good length for me. I'm five for eight and a half and as you'll see in the cutaways, these come low ankle on me so perfect jeans if you're a little bit taller if you're more petite you probably need to wear a heel with them roll them up maybe even get them tailored uh, they fit very much like a levi's jeans but i do love a high waist uh, straight leg jeans i think they're just the classic the only slight thing i will note is that the buttons to fasten them up are a little bit stiff so it does take me a while to fasten them up but I'm sure with time that will obviously loosen a bit because these are brand new. Again, these fit true to size. I didn't know if I'd be in between, but I got my actual true size from the two that I ordered. As well as a classic blue denim pair of jeans, I would say to reach for a white or an ecru, an off-white or a beige pair of denim jeans. I just love lighter hues. Well, I'll say in the summer months, I actually love them all year round. But I think that white jeans are a classic wardrobe staple. I have a pair here from A Gold that I actually picked up again from Farfetch. I bought these for myself around January and I absolutely love them. What I will say about these is that they have stretched a little bit. Um, so if you're in between sizes, definitely size down. Again, a high waist, straight leg, just love that classic 90s vibe. I know that low slung's in at the moment, but for me, I just feel so comfortable with a high waist and I think that they're more versatile inside a summer capsule wardrobe as well. But you might want to switch up your two pairs of denim and have a wide leg have a crop pair of denim, have some mom jeans, or if you still love your skinny jeans, you can mix it up, but I definitely recommend a blue and white pair of denim jeans in your summer capsule wardrobe. As I mentioned, I am a mum of one, so I have snuck in a pair of my leggings to this summer capsule wardrobe. If you're in a rush, you're not sure what to chuck on, leggings, super comfortable, so easy to style for those off duty days or you can also style them up for evenings out with heels and a blazer. So I had to include these. These are from Riona. They're really thick, double lined. They've got lots of stretch in them. I know this waist looks absolutely ridiculous, but they do stretch quite a bit. I'm a massive advocate for Riona. I have a blazer from them, which is new as well. I can't wait to share with you. Uh, but yeah, definitely leggings for me. Uh, you might want to have a more jazzy pair like my split hem Norma Kamali leggings. If you maybe are more social and you need some leggings in your life for going out for drinks and out and about but again I need mine to be practical for getting on my hands and knees and crawling around the floor but also have the versatility for taking them from day to night as well if I need to. Would it be a summer capsule wardrobe if we did not have linen trousers? Again, you can go for the colour of your choice, the leg length of your choice, the fit of your choice, but of course mine are high-waisted, a high-waisted black linen pair from Jacquemus, which I picked up last year from Farfetch. So if I can find last year's summer video and the pieces I picked out, I will leave that link down below because those brands are obviously still stocked on the website and it might give you a little bit more inspiration of shopping on Farfetch and how you can use my code CB10FF. Again, details will be down below. So these pants aren't from this collaboration. These are from last year. I wore them so much. I was super excited to get them out again and bring them into my summer wardrobe. Just a high-waisted, loose leg, flowing, comfortable, breathable linen pair of trousers. 
just a necessity really. Now I have another two pairs of trousers in my summer capsule wardrobe and the trousers I would pick out are a linen pair, a white pair or a lighter pair of trousers just for a little bit of variation. Again I have a high waisted pair, these are from Riona in a really nice white, off-white colour, just a casual tailored trouser because they're a little bit more oversized and relaxed, they're not tight fitting so they look great with sandals or with trainers. Uh, pair it with a jumper for off duty, wear it with your trench coat or your blazer which we'll get to shortly. And I've also decided to add in a wide leg pair of trousers. I'm just obsessed with this new pair from Marks and Spencers. It's the perfect colour uh, neutral and a few people have said to me over on my Instagram that they know that this colour pairs perfectly with the Frankie Shop gel sew blazer and uh, waistcoat which is really actually hard to get your size in so if you've been after the Frankie Shop gel sew maybe give these trousers a go from Marks and Spencers they come in petite regular and long length which is why I love these I'm five foot eight and a half and I have the long length again these fit true to size and I'm just obsessed with the colour so I've added a little bit of variation with some linen some tailored and some wide leg trousers in a neutral hue so in total I have nine bottoms in my summer capsule wardrobe now I'm going to go to this side of the rail and talk you through my tops. So these are all basics and staples again that pair with all of the trousers that I've just shown you. So whether you're looking for a casual look, you're looking to go out and be a little bit glam, I just love a basic. They're a good foundation of any outfit. One that might be a little bit controversial, so again, personal preference, but I have added a bralette in here because I'm just obsessed with wearing bralettes with high-waisted trousers and oversized blazers on the top. I picked up this one here from Mango because it was super affordable, dips my toe into the trend, but I do have my eye on this Jacquemus one, which is in stock at Farfetch, which I think I'm going to treat myself to uh, next month uh, because I've actually got a lot more wear out of this than I thought that I would do, so I want to snap one up before they go out of stock, so I'll, I'll make sure to leave that link below as well. Then next up is a bandeau. I think that a bandeau top is seriously underrated, by the way. The sun's coming and going from the clouds today, so I hope that the quality of this video is good for you guys. And I'll just say here, if you are finding this helpful so far and enjoying this content, please don't forget to like and subscribe below because it helps my channel out more than you know. And we are getting close to 18,000 subscribers now, and it just makes me so excited. I can't wait to share more casual closet content with you. So. Let's just add that in there and get back to this bandeau top. A bandeau is underrated. You can wear it as a layering piece underneath maybe more sheer detail pieces or if it's a bit cooler and you want to lay it up, it looks really sexy worn in the evenings, but not too try hard, whether you're wearing it with denim or some wide leg trousers. I have one here from Mint Velvet. It actually has got a double lining on the inside, so it's actually quite uh, flattering on the bust. You don't see obviously anything through it and it's really stretchy and comfortable as well. Can you tell that I'm a sucker for a bodysuit? So I have three of my favourites here. Uh, you can either have bodysuits or tank tops, whatever your preference is. Like I'm wearing a tank top now, this is an old one from Reese. Uh, but personally, I love a tank top because I feel they provide a little bit more of a seamless finish because you don't have sort of excess sort of material or a line where your top is because obviously it's a little bit more streamlined. and. I feel like it gives you a little bit more coverage if you're wearing a denim skirt as well because just a little bit more protection in case you end up flashing. So I have three bodysuits, two from Riona. Again, like I said, I absolutely love the brand. They do really good basics as well, but I'm actually in the market for trying a Skims bodysuit. So if you tried one, let me know in the comments below what you think, I would love to know. And I have a neutral coloured one here, which is a thong bottom, which I absolutely champion. A thong bottom is really good for if you've got tight fitting trousers and you don't want to know that you're wearing a bodysuit. I have the black version as well, super comfortable. I have an extra small in both of these and I probably should have gone for a small, uh, but they do still fit nonetheless and they're really good quality, double lined. So again, I don't feel like you see anything through them. And then this beautiful nude bodysuit from ELR Style, which is super stretchy, really long in the body, which again is great for if you're taller like myself. Such a really nice basic. I feel like this is my version of a tank top. 
because it's a little bit higher up there but because it's a really nice nude colour it just looks seamless underneath all the outfits and again a bodysuit is great for styling from day to night and this one is super comfortable again double lined so you can't see anything through it at all uh, they also do a white one uh, which I want to try as well because it's really hard to get a white bodysuit or a tank top that doesn't show what you're wearing underneath if you don't happen to be wearing a bra, which I don't normally tend to do. But my next top is a sleeveless top. So as well as your bando and your body suits, in your summer capsule wardrobe, you want to kind of have a variation of basics that you can play with. And I would suggest going for a sleeveless t-shirt. And I have one of the Frankie Shop padded shoulder sleeveless t-shirts here, which I picked up last year in another neutral colour, but as you can see, it's slightly different to the body suits. So what I've tried to do with my basic tops is to have a variation of different styles and also some different colours to play with tones, putting your outfits together. Uh, I have a size small. I love that there's padding on the shoulder because this is, to me, an elevated basic, and that's what I look for in my basics. Just a little detail that's slightly different that takes that look to the next level and so you don't feel like you're being a little bit boring. It looks great tucked into jeans. It's a really nice flattering silhouette on the body and I feel it looks really good dressed up as well for drinks. Another t-shirt, one that I bought myself from Farfetch the other month uh, is Aneen Bing and like I said, I went a little bit crazy. I bought myself this t-shirt and then for this collaboration, I was just like, oh my God, I need more an evening in my life. So I added some more, uh, but I'm pretty sure this is still in stock on the website. It is a logo tee. So that is my point. Get yourself a logo t-shirt in your summer capsule wardrobe. I think it just mixes things up. And if like me, you're a very neutral person and you're not really into your prints and patterns, just adding a simple sort of band logo tee adds an element of fun. <laughs> she says, to your neutral outfit. Let me know if you agree or not. Um, but I just think it's really wearable and I just love how classic it is as well. It's from a heritage collection, but there's so many anemic pieces on Farfetch, like I said. Also gone for a grey to switch it up a little bit. And I thought it pairs really nicely with blue denim. As I mentioned before, this is for a summer capture wardrobe in the UK. And we can go down to 15 degrees weather can fluctuate, but it can also be chilly in the evening. And a little fun fact, I tend to take a sweatshirt or a cardigan away abroad with me anyway, because I get quite mesh in the evenings. So, say hello to this beauty, which is another Anine Bing piece. I picked this piece up from Farfetch for this collaboration. So again, code CB10FF. This is in stock. I got it and it went out of stock. Now it's back in stock. So now is your chance to get it before it sells out again. If it picks up on camera, it's actually like a slight pink colour. And I just thought, again, something a little bit fun in my neutral wardrobe. Personally, rather than a white, to add a little hint of pink, but it's still going to complement all of my neutrals perfectly. I love the logo detail at the back. Again, it's a little bit giving me band vibes. Like if you went to a concert and you'd pick up a jumper. This is an oversized style, so I got a small anyway. In my old Anine Bing jumper, which is the Anine Bing Sport, which I'm pretty sure they stock on Farfetch, I got a small and wish I'd got a medium, but this is actually oversized anyway, so don't feel the need to size up if you prefer an oversized jumper, and yes, I am obsessed. This with the Anine Bing jeans and some and even shoes, I haven't still a few coming. Just the perfect off-duty, cool, chic, take you from shopping to drinks to obsessed. If you just like looking casual, but like you've made an effort, and that's your whole vibe, a little bit like mine, get yourself an Anine Bing jumper. The second piece of knitwear in my summer capsule wardrobe for the UK is a striped sweater. Now for me, you'll probably find me wearing this over my shoulders rather than actually on my body. I don't know why, I just love the styling hack of wearing a sweater over your shoulders, that preppy chic look. If you're wearing something looking in the mirror thinking, my outfit's missing something and I don't know what, chuck a striped sweatshirt over your shoulder and you'll be surprised at what it can do. So I've just added that in here, but again, I'll probably just use this as a prop for keeping warm in the evenings and throwing over my shoulder, but it's nice to have a little bit of stripes in there as well. You might want to swap this out for a striped t-shirt. Any form of stripes is always good in a capsule wardrobe. Then the rest of my tops are shirts and I have three for you. So the first one is just a classic. I could not put together this capsule wardrobe without a white shirt. Come rain, come shine, come summer, come winter, come 365 days a year. I think that a white shirt is essential 
even in your workwear capsule wardrobe to your everyday capsule wardrobe. How many times can I say capsule wardrobe in this video? Comment below. <laughs> and I have this one from Resale, which I've had for a few years now, but I will link some alternatives below. I love the basics at Arquette and Cos. Then we have a linen shirt. In the cutaways for this, I will show a little hack for a different way that you can style a linen shirt that you might not thought of, which just elevates it for summer, but you can always easily wear this as well, open over a vest top for that laid back relaxed vibe with some tailored trousers, which I absolutely love, but it wouldn't be summer without a bit of linen. And I decided to go for black rather than white because I feel like you can wear the two together, your linen trousers and your linen shirt as a sort of little set as well. So take into consideration the colours of your shirts and the colours of the trousers that you pick out in your wardrobe because I feel like if you are careful with the colours that you pick then you can create even more outfits and get even more wear which is what we want to be doing here isn't it. Now I've added this into my top section as a shirt but my suggestion would be a denim jacket or a denim shirt. I can't personally find a denim jacket in a hue which I love. I'm a little bit picky with the colour of the blue tones that I have in my wardrobe. So I would really love a white or an ecru oversized denim jacket I am on the hunt for. I will let you know if I find it. Um, so I added in a denim shirt instead, which obviously you can wear open as a jacket, especially if it's oversized like this one here that I have from Arquette, which actually I've had more wear from than I thought that I would. So I thought I would add it into my summer capsule wardrobe so I can have a little bit of a play with different ways to style this which I'll be doing over on my Instagram, at Charlotte Buttrick. So I have 12 tops in total. I'm gonna to move right to this end and I'm gonna do dresses next, which of course are an essential in summer in general. And I just picked out two. I didn't know how many to include, but I thought I would whittle it down to two because I have obviously added a few more basics here. So you might want to add more dresses if you're a dress person, but personally, you'll find me more on trousers and jeans. So I've gone for a white dress, which of course is a summit staple. I find it so hard to find a white dress that you love. I haven't had one in my wardrobe for years. And I have this beautiful one from Free People here. We have puff sleeves, some shirt detail here, which actually is not really that see-through. You can get away with not wearing a bra underneath. Uh, double lined at the bottom, but I feel obviously you still have to wear nude underwear. And the little tie detail here. I have mine in a size extra small, and I would say it is quite stretchy and giving. So size down or go for your normal size, but definitely you don't need to size up in this. Although this is quite a romantic dress and it does scream daytime, I do feel like you could dress this up for an evening as well and it'd be perfect for those summer barbecues and picnics and maybe little events that you have going on. And my second dress is a slip dress. Now I know I have my black satin skirt, but for me, a slip dress and especially a black slip dress is what I reach to for going out or for, you know, an event. If I was going to a wedding, this is what I would wear with a blazer over and sandals, basically. I would wear this with flat sandals. If I was going out in the day for a little bit of shopping and maybe a couple of drinks after, it's so comfortable, but also sexy with this cutout detail. Uh, this is old Zara, so I'll leave some alternatives linked below that I found for this dress. But for me, it just has to be a slip dress. I even wore this so much when I went on holiday last year. I think I wore it for three nights. So if you would like me to do a holiday capsule wardrobe as well in the coming weeks and months, let me know in the comments below. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up because I can definitely do that. Now, in my dresses section, just obviously recapping that, which you probably don't need to, we have two dresses, a white one and a black one that can be worn from day to night, but maybe make sure that they're different colours, different materials and serve different purposes. Moving on now to the jacket section and I have four jackets in my jacket section. The first one being a waistcoat and I thought I would just categorise this as a jacket because I wasn't sure whether to do it in jackets or tops. Now for me I've gone for a long line oversized version, again you could go more fitted, whatever colour floats your boat. I love these worn open with a top underneath just as an extra layer and also worn on their own. A little bit of a trend piece but it's something that I'm actually really loving at the moment and with it being sleeveless it's perfect for those warmer days instead of a blazer uh, so I thought I would add this in to my summer capsule wardrobe. Then I have two blazers. I have a light blazer which is my newest addition, this beautiful Riona blazer. It's exactly the same style cut as my macadamia 
blazer you'll have seen in lots of other videos a little bit of a darker brown but we've gone for this beautiful light color for the warmer months absolutely love pairing this with white but also looks really nice with black as well I've also included my black Frankie Shop blazer, which I also picked up from Farfetch a few months ago. They've got a really good selection of Far, uh, Frankie Shop on Farfetch, sorry. So you can also use my discount code on this item as well. Again, the same oversized cut. The Frankie Shop blazer is a lot thinner actually than the Riona one, so this one will be better on the days when it is warmer and a black blazer is just a wardrobe staple and a classic and I would probably have a black blazer in a capsule wardrobe for autumn and winter as well. Just to, something that everybody needs in their wardrobe and as we can see and as we already know I love an oversized blazer. I actually did a video on styling oversized blazers so I'll make sure I leave that linked and I can always do part two as well. Moving on to the next one is a short jacket. So I would suggest having a short jacket that can be any style that you want. Obviously the military style jackets are very popular at the moment or a parka jacket, whatever suits your lifestyle best is what you're going to want to add into your capsule wardrobe because these items need to be wearable and they need to be practical. So I've gone for a short trench coat. This is short and oversized from Arquette. I really wish that I'd got the extra small. This is a small and I love oversized, but I feel like this would complement better if it was a little bit smaller. Nonetheless, I still love it though. It's really lightweight, just easy to chuck on. So I had to include it in here. And tell a lie, I have five coats and jackets, not four. The next one I would add into my capture wardrobe is a long trench. So obviously your short jacket might be a lightweight bomber jacket might not necessarily be a trench coat. You might even have a leather jacket in here, but for my long coat, I would recommend a trench. Just does not get any better. Obviously a lightweight trench, you can even get linen trench coats on the market. It's so wearable, you can dress it up, you can dress it down if you want to look smart and chic when you're going out in the evening with some heels and some jeans, or you're going out in the day wearing your leggings and a pair of trainers. I feel a trench coat is an essential and a must in your capsule wardrobe. Moving on to accessories. Let's go for my summer shoes. I actually found this quite difficult to whittle them down because I do have quite a few favourite shoes. Three, four. I've only got four shoes in total, but they all serve different purposes. Let's get into the goods. First up are the Aneen Bing shoes. I told you guys about I picked these up from Farfetch and I'm so excited about them. They are a thong toe sandal with a very manageable heel and they are so padded and squishy. Look at this. Look at this, I am so excited about these shoes. Worried they might not fit and they do, so I have a size eight and they fit these big size eight feet comfortably. They have a square toe, they are so beautifully made. The sole actually also looks like it's not too slippy, but I might even be tempted to have a little rubber bit popped on there. Uh, just to make them more practical for me because I am clumsy uh, but they're just so beautiful but I know I will wear these loads because I had some similar ones for the last couple of years uh, to test them out that were a little bit more affordable and then I saw these and I was like I need some because I don't have some classic black sandals that I can wear in the day and at night in my wardrobe which I think is a must when you're picking out heeled sandals in your capsule wardrobe you want them to be versatile and you want them to be comfortable and these are absolutely beautiful I also have a flat pair of sandals so we have some fisherman sandals love them or hate them I'm actually really loving them at the moment these are from Marks and Spencers. They keep coming and going out of stock. So if you like these, I would suggest just bookmarking the page or going into your local store because they've already gone out of stock and come back in once. And I pick them up in the white just to mix them up. So I have some black sandals and some white sandals and I have a heeled pair and a flat pair as well. My favourite shoe category of all is trainers and I bought myself some new Converse for the summer months in this beautiful kind of nudie, grey, taupey, neutral shade. Again, these are quite hard to get your hands on, I'll leave where they're available, links below, they might hopefully come back in stock and I'll leave the colour name down below as well because I don't know how to say it. Uh, so yeah, another pair of classic Converse. I didn't know whether to go for a white trainer, but I thought it's got to be Converse because they're just so comfortable and I think they just make any outfit look cool and they're also a great trainer if you're a mum. 
And then for my fourth pair of shoes, I would recommend some mules or loafers or some slip-ons. Again, what's going to suit your lifestyle. So I have gone for the very Marmite shoe, the Birkenstock Boston, that you may have seen in my last video, which had a few new pieces in my wardrobe for spring. Uh, just easy to shove your feet into. They work really well with my lifestyle. But I was toying whether to pop these in or my Gucci loafers, and I just thought, these are the shoes that I'm going to be living in this summer. So wouldn't be true to myself if I didn't have them in my capsule wardrobe for the warmer months. For my handbags, I have three bags. The first one is a black usable everyday bag. So I've used my COS new bag, which is their crossbody bag, a little bit like the Rogue Banana bag. I've had it on me constantly since I bought it uh, because it came back in stock and I'm so glad I got my hands on it. So I've gone for an everyday bag that's easy to use, especially hands-free, which is great as a mum as well. And I love this bag. I need to try it and get my hands on it in cream as well. So we have a black, everyday, useful handbag. Not that all these handbags aren't useful, but you know what I mean. One that you can just reach to, go, run out the door. Then I wanted to include a more dressy handbag and I thought I would go for a lighter shade to mix things up and I have my Strathbury Box Crescent bag in a beautiful cream colour which has one strap and it also has a chain strap here as well which gives me the dressy vibe. So try and have a more casual bag and a more go-to evening bag but this bag could also be easily used in the day as well. And of course, I've considered the colours on this rail because this and the black is obviously going to tone with everything we have here. Then my last bag is a straw bag, which I think is such a summer essential. And how adorable is this basket bag? And I bet you can't believe the price of this. Of course, it'll be linked below. I'll let you go and check it out yourself. But I want to get the bigger version that has longer straps as well, maybe in a tan. But this little number is so cute and yeah, got to have a straw bag in there or some bag with some sort of texture. Maybe you want to have a netted bag or a beaded bag, but a handbag that brings summer vibes. So now I've only got a couple of things to show you. I have a cap and I have a belt or two belts. So a belt finishes off an outfit for me and you'd be surprised at what a difference a belt can make. So I've included two here, which are from Cinch Belt, Clinch which are from Clinch Belts, who I absolutely adore. What you can do with these is you can keep the buckle and then you can just buy another belt leather strap, would you call it a strap, to swap them over. So you need to have the buckle once and then you can just buy different colours of the actual leather belt itself. Genuine leather made in Italy. Absolutely obsessed with them because they are golden. As you can see, I love my gold jewellery and I've picked a black belt and of course a neutral belt and I've gone for two different thicknesses as well depending on what you're wearing and how you want to style your outfit up. And then a cap. On those days that you maybe don't want to do your makeup, you're having a bad hair day or you just want to have the sport looks vibe, I have an Anine Bing cap which I also picked up a month or so ago from Farfetch when it came in because I saw this colour and I have the black one, I've worn it loads, so I wanted to get this colour. Like I said, I am a little bit of an Anine Bing addict at the moment, so I'm going to be just throwing it on on the days that I'm going out for a dog walk, doing things with Roman, can't be bothered to do my makeup or maybe heading to the gym. Sunglasses, of course, a summer staple and I have recently got myself the Ray-Ban rounds in the largest size, the polarised versions and I've just worn them so much. Again, I love how they're gold so they complement the gold jewellery that I wear. Also, I'll be wearing them for sort of either walking the dog to the park with Roman or even if I'm going out and I just want to add an element of cool to any outfit. And of course, protect my peepers from the sun. So I've just gone for the one pair, but of course you can have as many or as little sunglasses in your summer closet as you wish. You might want to switch it up and have different colour frames to match different colour outfits, but I just love the mean gold because it matches my jewellery perfectly. Again, a little reminder. My Farfetch code, CB10FF, all details will be down in the description box below. If you were thinking of creating a summer capsule wardrobe, I hope you found today's video helpful. If you have, give this video a like, let me know in the comments below. As I said, I'll be styling these up lots of ways over on my Instagram at Charlotte Buttrick. And next week's video is going to be a week in outfits with 
obviously using all these items on this rail so make sure you're subscribed and come back and join me for that and I'm so excited that I finally got round to doing this video because I've been wanting to do one for so long so thank you for watching and I will see you in next week's video bye guys <laughs>